Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday. Man, check this joint out. Doesn't get any better than this, does it, for a Sunday? Yoo-hoo! Say good morning, honey. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Oh, there she is right there. Good morning. Happy Sunday from Tiwa Beach. Noosa North Shore. Noosa North Shore, yeah. Okay, guys. We have had a ton of messages, man, asking about a bit of a run-through on our build when we uh, don't have the caravan. So... This is it. Dun dun dun. Uh, I'll give you a quick rundown. Uh, babe, do you want to do you want to hold the camera for me? Might be easier. Do you want to hold my book for me? Yeah. <laughs> hold <Yes>. the book. <laughs> it's National Literacy Day, and she's reading a book on the beach, man. Can you believe that? All right, rundown. Come on, come this way. 2016 Toyota Hilux. It's not a Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> nah, 2016 Hilux, um, latest edition is the canopy, come on over, we'll have a look. Bud's Customs in Springwood in Brisbane have built this one for us, it's their very first one man and I think we're going to start seeing more of them. Uh, chassis mount, uh, canopy, I didn't, I just don't sort of feel as a need for me to remove it and put it back onto a tray, so we've gone with just a full chassis mount. Upright fridge. Um, We've gone with an upright fridge, Dometic fridge. I just believe it's better for room wise. They're not as deep, so we've got a lot more room on the other side, just sort of pull in and put the battery system and drawers and stuff that goes in there. I just believe they work better and it's not as much dead space and no fridge slide and all the other junk so it goes down, but hey, everyone to themselves. Oh, on just a quick note too, we just had the cops pull up to a 200 series booking someone, so that is so funny, I've never seen that before. Obey the road rules. Even okay, on even on the beach, road rules fly. Okay, kitchen wise. This is Miriam's workbench. This is what she does everything on. Then we have the full setup in here. It's got all our kitchen gear and then the table pulls right out as well. This is where Miriam works her magic with her cooking and gives me this amazing physique that I have. So. Give us a twirl, darling. What? Give us a twirl. Nah, <laughs> people have seen it before, they know it's nice. Um, okay, yep, this is the kitchen sort of setup. We have underneath, we have uh, storage boxes. And man, you can pack some gear into these. It is just ridiculous. That is jam packed with all types of gear, recovery gear, um, straps, even comes with a drill. So uh, yeah, pretty amazing the sort of gear we can fit into here. Uh, let's go around the back. Okay, back setup, standard sort of features. We got a jerry can holder, which has actually got water in it at the moment. We've got a spare wheel and we've got a drop down ladder. Uh, which makes it nice and easy to get up on the roof and get the surfboards and bikes and I don't know, what else? Miriam, I'll put her on the roof sometime when she drives me crazy, but hey. Mm. Okay, I've gone with a slide out bench this time kitchen. I believe it sort of just works better. It's only fairly short, so it gives us a ton of room in the back. Oh, underneath to still put a large water tank, which will be going on very shortly. Oh, we want to try getting at least 120 sort of litres under there, which will, you know, just make things a lot better and a lot easier for us. Um, come around to the side. Come around to this side. Stand sort of features again. Uh, we've got another large drawer here, which carries a ton more gear. We have another drawer here, which gives us a ton more for all electric gear. And then it gives us, the drawer is fairly short, so it gives us room for the Enerdrive lithium battery. There's a 200 amp BTEC going into the back just under the floor here and then in here we're going to have the full uh and drive system full enclosed unit they're just like seriously these guys have got it nailed uh we're going to have a 45 amp dc to dc charger we're gonna have a 40 amp ac charger 2000 watt inverter uh all the connectors all interfused just a mint setup and the Cy Marine panel. We're running the one in our caravan at the moment. We're absolutely in love with it. This is why I put another one in here. Just phenomenal. Check it out, man. Cy Marine and Enerdry, they've got it nailed. Um, okay, another storage box out the back. Underneath here, which is carry tools and general sort of stuff. Um, awning. We've gone with a 270 awning. Um, just gives you a lot more space and hence why I've done the kitchen out the back as well, sort of wrap around because you've got all this space, all this shady space. It just works really good. I, I think it works awesome. So we're gonna, I think we're gonna change, are we, honey? We might change to our new cab. 
or a bush company or something like that, so you just don't have legs. Just a lot more room, a lot quicker. Heaps quicker to set up. Like, I mean, not that these take very long at all, but man, the quicker you can sit down and have a frothy, the better, I say, so. Tent boys, we're running an alu cab. Um, man, when you're touring, doing a lot of touring, these are the bomb and a must. They're like 30 seconds sort of set up. They got USBs in there, they got lights in there, you, all your bedding sits up in there. Carry surfboards the whole lot and still open it up. They're just, they're the bomb. Can you see in there at all? Um, Ton of storage, my iPad's up there okay. from watching movies last night. Woo! Um, yeah, awesome. Uh, they, these guys, I mean, Alucab, Bush Company, they've just got it nailed and I do believe Boss Aluminium in Melbourne have got one that they're releasing very shortly. So man, stay tuned. They're just, yeah, it's gonna be awesome. They're just a setup. So come around here. 2000, oh, nearly stacked it in this hole. Obviously 2016 Hilux, nothing out of control. Um, we've got, had to go with the Lovells uh, suspension kit on there, just for the GVM, the GCM upgrade. You know, when we're fully loaded with the kids in there, the dog, the uncle, the aunties, the, all the jazz, and the caravan on the back, we're at about 6.3 tonnes. So the GVM, GCM upgrade is well and truly needed. Um, not sitting terribly high. I did have it a lot high last week. We did drop it probably nearly 45 millimetres on Tuesday, because it just, they just don't work, you know, I mean, they look awesome, they look really high and, you know, they look unreal, but they just don't drive good and they definitely don't four-wheel drive. We need that down travel for four-wheel driving, as all you guys sort of know, so drop it back down, works heaps better. Um, Performance-wise, definitely not your standard Hilux. Uh, G&L Performance have gone to town this thing and, man, it rocks, it rocks. I mean, torque is a, is a huge thing for when we're towing in a lot of weights and, yeah. This is amazing. I'm not going to really say how much it's got because <laughs> it's got to be quiet. So, um, yeah. Do uh, you want to go under here while we're here? Oh, yeah, you can have a look under there. That's the Lovells gear, and obviously Mick from Mike's Shock Shop has put some Baja kit upper control arms on there. Man, check him out. He's got a ton and ton and ton of gear as well that he sort of sells. Um, in the next few weeks, we've got a front bar going on and a winch. The guys at Pinnacle 4x4 are going to set us up with something men. I think we're probably going to go a unique or something just to, yeah, get us out of dramas, I think. I think it's a, it's probably a must, so come around, come around, come around, come around. Um, is that sort of it? I think we've covered everything. I think so. For now. You don't want all nitty gritty little stuff that we've done to the car, obviously. Um, look, we've just set it up as a tourer. We do a lot of you know, touring, caravanning, get away every second that we possibly can. We try to actually work in the middle of it all, but it's not going too well at the moment, so we definitely <laughs> prefer this as work. So, this is our setup. Um, we'll be doing a few more videos, guys, when the end drive system goes in, when we've got the water tanks in, when we've got the airbags in. Airbag man, we're doing a video with them very shortly, so stay tuned, it's gonna be sick. And that's pretty much it, so. Do you have anything else you want to add to the list, darling? No, is there anything Where you with... carry your makeup and all that type of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned for more videos, guys. See you later and have an epic Sunday. Yo! Hey guys, we're at Tiwa Beach doing a bit of a build video and check out what we just saw. The boys in blue are out here. Look, see? That'll slow all the uh, throttle jockeys that are out here doing donuts at night and uh, yeah, good on them. Cops in its own series, love it. Killing them off. That's what we want to do. Don't we, honey? Obey the road rules, even on the sand. <laughs> <laughs>